first, before I talk about uh, what S script does, I just want to talk about, I mean, the, the buzzword is all around the so-called smart contracts or uh, tokens. So what is uh, essentially what are smart contracts? So in, in my opinion, it's very uh, simple. So it's like any kind, any kind of a computer code, but with only one exception. It, it runs instead of on your, let's say, a laptop or mobile phone, it runs on the Bitcoin network and it's run by all the miners in the entire uh, Bitcoin network. So what, what is the benefit? How does it, why is it different uh, from all other pieces of code that's running somewhere else? Because it's running by the Bitcoin mining network. So it has a few great features. Number one, it makes it uh, trustless. So basically a lot of times, especially nowadays, uh, we conduct a lot of business online because of, uh, especially during uh, the COVID period. So whenever you are not doing transactions face-to-face, uh, -face, there are many challenges. For example, if I want to buy something from you, I can pay you first. You may not give me the goods or vice versa. If you give me the goods, I may not pay you. So smart contract is a great way. I think this is a killer app feature for a smart contract. Basically, it enables the atomic exchange of uh, goods and payments. But, and also because it's on chain, so it's all transparent, which is great for a lot of applications like gaming. And also it's uh, very efficient because everything is, uh, can be automated. And because of the Bitcoin the scalability, it also means a lot of transactions can be, become very cheap because you don't need to uh, rely on a third party, like a lawyer or escrow. So once we have smart contracts, so the question begs, which platform or which blockchain is the best? to uh, achieve smart contracts. So I would argue here, uh, the best is actually BSV. So to compare with all other blockchains, I think I just list here with using Ethereum as example, you, I can list some of the criteria here. Uh, the foremost is scalability. So I think as uh, Steve Shatter's uh, previ uh, previously presented, we have the so-called uh, uh, UTXO model, and now we are even Build on this model, we are uh, building out the next node implementation called a Terra node. So, because in technical term, it's called uh, we can horizontally scale. Basically, meaning add, if you add more machines, then you can pre, you can process more transactions per second. So, actually, today on the mainnet, we can tr uh, process up to 300, uh, 3,000 transactions per second versus uh, Ethereum, which can pr process uh, bare like uh, fifteen transactions because. They use a vertical scaling, which meaning fundamentally it, it cannot scale. And also have a UTXO model, another technical benefit is very sure. And there are many, uh, also the cost, right? Because we can unboundedly scale. That means the you never get congested. So you, we can even see the fee is about, uh, a lot of time is about more than 1,000 times cheaper, a fraction of a cent versus uh, Ethereum. You, sometimes you call tens or even if not, hundred dollars just to run through one transaction. So enough about uh, in general about uh, smart contract. So what what Ascript provides is you can think about we provide the, the full stack smart contract uh, solutions on, exclusively on Bitcoin SV. So we have a number of uh, products. The number one, we have the high level programming language. I think earlier there's a panel talking about the uh, low level high level stuff. So think about this like a JavaScript. So you can, let's all the developers, doesn't matter what, do they have a blockchain or Bitcoin background, doesn't matter. As long as they have any kind of programming background, it's very easy to start programming on, on Bitcoin. They don't have to know all the uh, details. And also we have our uh, so-called IDE, Integrated Developer uh, Development Environments. We have the cloud version on the right. We also have the our desktop version, which is our premium uh, development environment. So we also, besides ID, we also have uh, different versions for SDKs. We have JavaScript and Python. And uh, actually, uh, so this is, hasn't been released yet, but uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to release another uh, Golang SDK. So for a lot of Golang developers, hopefully this is good news for you. And also we have uh, <clears throat> Java version running also is coming soon, so stay tuned.
So what we have uh, achieved so far, we launched uh, in CoinGeek London last year before the COVID. So that's about 18 months ago. So we have received a lot of uh, enthusiasm uh, from the developers. Actually, we starting from when we released, we have zero users. And today, I think today, I just checked, we just reached uh, uh, 2,100. So that's quite a, a rapid pro uh, growth, especially we haven't done any marketing uh, yet. So if you're a developer today, if you have not tried our uh, ID today, I strongly recommend you go to sscript.io and uh, download our desktop ID today. So we have seen a lot of projects adopting our technology, either uh, building the whole product uh, based on fully on script, such as uh, token swap, which is not generating a lot of uh, transactions these few days. And also we also see a or pretty much uh, most of the major players that uh, uh, put in s in part of the technology stack. For example, we have seen all these uh, different token system, ELAS or, or Sensible token or Fabric token. We also see, uh, for example, a lot of wallets support us, the Vault and Dot Wallet. And we even, uh, and also Relays using some of our technology to use uh, time lock when they do the on-chain uh, exchange. Then what kind of things that can be built with uh, script on top of Bitcoin then? So uh, I think a lot, a lot of misconception out there. And the number one is, is because uh, the Bitcoin is very limited, the capability. So you cannot do all kinds of a computation or so-called smart contracts on Bitcoin natively. And that, that turns out is a huge misconception. And that, that is actually the basis for, I wouldn't say if not uh, all, at least most of the cryptocurrencies out there exist based on this assumption that Bitcoin cannot do everything, well, which is not true. So I'm showing one slide here. It can be a little bit technical, but uh, basically it says the Bitcoin, we have proved, proved that Bitcoin can does every type of computation that other blockchains can do. So how do we prove that? So in the computer science term, it is called uh, Turing completeness. So basically, uh, uh, Alan Turing is, uh, you can think about, is uh, uh, the father of modern computer science. So basically, he invented this abstract machine called Turing machine, which I'm showing on this slide. So basically, it's a kind of abstract machine. This machine is, is very simple, but it's also very powerful, meaning any kind of uh, computation that a computer can do or can ever do, maybe in, in the next 1,000 years or in ever, it has been proved. Any, anything that com a computer can ever do is, can also be done using this primitive Turing machine. And we have recently demonstrated that you can actually run this Turing machine inside on top of Bitcoin today. We, uh, we have written the smart contract in s -Grip. We also have deployed and now it's actually running on the Bitcoin today. So that disproved the notion that Bitcoin cannot do everything. So is, is uh, imp first the uh, empirical uh, proof that uh, Bitcoin can does everything that other blockchains can do. And I would argue even you can do it even more efficiently. So as a very uh, good example, I think recently we have seen this uh, so-called uh, token swap app application that's uh, built entirely on s -script. So basically you can think about it is, uh, it's also a token swap but similar to like a lot of a swap on, let's say Ethereum, like a sushi swap or Uniswap, but instead of doing it on the unscalable uh, Ethereum blockchain written in Solidity, you can write this today in S script, everything written in S script and is running on the native Bitcoin. And it has many great features compared to Ethereum. I think the number one is, is very cheap, right? We are talking about uh, I think today about uh, uh, 0 0.1 US dollar versus a lot of other swaps. You can easily go to uh, $10 or sometimes 100 or uh, I think I've seen some examples you're using. You have to, one, one swap costs you like a thousand dollars. So that's orders of magnitude much cheaper. So basically this is a very good uh, proof of concept that we can not only do everything uh, other blockchains, smart contract blockchains can do, it actually can do much better. So hopefully this can 
give the more motivation to uh, developers out there. You can start uh, learning uh, script today. So you can at least uh, we can migrate all, all other applications on other blockchains onto Bitcoin. So we also show a lot of uh, so-called non, uh, I think it's a uh, novel applications of a smart contract, which is usually not covered by other blockchain, so-called smart contract blockchains. For example, uh, one is in the big category of outsource computation. So basically a lot of time you have a computation very intensive and you, either you don't want to run it or you don't have the computer, uh, computational resources to write locally. So you can pay somebody else to write. So for example, we recently uh, launched a proof concept so called Kaggle, this smart contract. So you, for people who haven't uh, know, Kaggle basically is a machine learning competition. So p real companies like Zillow, the people put $1 million uh, price if you can win the price to come up with your best machine learning model. So instead of, instead of running this through the Kaggle, you can do this purely on chain. So what's the benefit? One, you, you don't have to pay $1 million, right? You can even have $1 competition. Can, people can still solve it and still earn money. And also then you don't have to trust the Kaggle, the company, or the whoever is sponsoring the competition. You, you either you get the solution, you take the money, or neither happens. So, and also you can use this to solve logistic problem. For example, you want to find the so-called uh, traveling salesman problem. You want to find the shortest bus. Like let's say when you are UPS, you deliver packages across the, uh, let's say 10 cities. You want to find the cheapest route. You, know, you can also outsource this and it's atomic and there's no trust involved. And also, uh, since now we are in New York City, of course, the, the finance is also a big uh, application. We have seen examples, people put on weather insurance. So basically it depends on whether uh, it's bad or good, you can get the, the uh, insurance coverage or not. Or otherwise you can just pay the premium. You also, you can even be your own bank if you really want to. So basically you can set, that's, for example, you can set a daily spending limit on your address using uh, advanced contract. And uh, lastly, you can also, uh, one of the more, more prominent uh, examples we have seen recently is so-called gaming, right? So basically you put the uh, games on chain, so you, re re you can remove a lot of uh, trusting issues. You don't have to trust the house. You don't have to trust your opponent. You can play with this with anybody in the world on chain, and it's also transparent. You can, you can, uh, we have implemented examples like a lottery and tic-tac-toe, but this, this, this uh, scheme can be generalized to any type of uh, uh, games which, which you can install, you can store your state. And, and also, lastly, we can also train your AI models and even train your uh, machine learning models on chain as well and get paid. So I'm uh, very excited to be here today to summarize. We have been talking about Ascript, and if you want to know more, just go to this one-stop uh, website called Ascript.io, which I strongly recommend you to go. And uh, also follow our social media. Uh, today, we just launched the uh, new, totally new website called uh, Learn Ascript. So you go to learn.ascript.io, which is an interactive and free online courses. You can learn Ascript today. And uh, I hope this is time for, for many other developers to come join us and build all kinds of smart contracts that's much better and more scalable and secure than all other smart contract platform. Thank you. And uh, I hope you, you enjoy the rest of the conference. Data is double-edged. Wield it well and build your place in tomorrow. But trust it blindly and risk watching your progress crumble. Because much of the data we rely upon isn't reliable at all. At Enchain, we believe in data, but we put no faith in it. Instead, we build tools that enable enterprises to trust the data upon which they rely. Enchain, data without question. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, metanet, the evolution of money, Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. 
Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.